Welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host, Paige Jen. How are you? Oh, I'm good, honeys. How are you? Oh, doing good. That's wonderful. Hey, if you're listening to this, thank you guys for coming back week after week. And if this is your first time uh, listening to us, welcome to the shit show. Mm -hmm. I kind of was wondering the other day, what brings people in to watch? Like, what thumbnail was it? What... What got him? What got got him here? I don't know. I I met a girl at a at a show a while back. I told you this. Who who said I had never heard of you or Paige? And I was scrolling through Spotify, and it came up recommended, and I I listened to an episode, and I fell in love. See, I love those stories. I know. I live for those. I will say this. I was at the grocery store the other day, and um, I noticed that this elderly man was kind of looking at me. And this motherfucker was 75 at least, if not in his 80s. Oh, yeah. And I saw him looking at me, and I didn't think much of it. At first, I kind of thought, like, oh, like, am I not wearing a bra? Is he, you know, you know. And I didn't get the vibe that he knew who I was. Not at all. I just, he just kind of looked at me, you know, whatever. So I'm in, taking my basket to the car, and all of a sudden I hear, excuse me. And he's behind me. He's like, are you on TikTok? Oh, and I said, yes, I am. He goes, oh, I've seen your videos. And it makes me extra happy when an elderly person yeah. has scoliosis. Yeah. So I just wanted to throw that out You there. were on his algorithm. That's cute. Oh, it brought me joy, the fact that he said hi. You know, he's like, oh, f-. He, he didn't say I follow you. He goes, I've seen your videos on TikTok. I was like, oh, I was like, thank you. It's Did funny you, yeah. that everybody says, are you on TikTok? Like, uh-huh. they only say TikTok. And Chelsea hates it, Loki. Well, not hates it, but it's she's just, like, why out of all the platforms, <laughs> TikTok? Because it's, it's the platform I, ca- I post to least, probably. But it's my, I don't know, people just are always on TikTok, so they always just You pop me. off on TikTok, dude. I'm popping off on the TikTok. So, oh yeah. Anyway, and TikTok's the best app, I think. So just embrace that one. Yeah. No, I do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Is Instagram better? No. I'm Hell no. matter of fact, I think Instagram's slowly dying. I, it is. It's passing away. I don't post much to Instagram. I mean, I still post, but I I don't know. I can't explain it. It's it used to be my old, absolute favorite platform, and now it's not. Now I've moved on. Same. I'm just thinking, what's next? Mm-hmm. 100%. Something needs to happen. Yeah. You know what I learned is that even after uh, you peel potatoes, you're supposed to wash them off. Oh, when they're raw? Yeah. I didn't know to get the starch off. I I don't do that most of the time. I, I've, I have heard people be like, they cut it and then they soak it. And, I don't do that. I do. You do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so huh. they're not gooey? I just learned that, so hmm. if you're ever struggling with your potatoes, there's a little fact. Wash them off. Mine turn out great. I don't wash them. Is that mashed potatoes, though? Yeah. Because you don't really do, uh, that's like if you're making hash browns. Wash hmm. them off, because then they won't be gooey. I don't even do that when I'm making hash browns. Hmm. Well, I guess my mom lied to me. <laughs> Fuck you, mom. <laughs> Fuck you. I mean, I guess you could. I, I don't know if it makes a difference. I don't know. Huh. Oh. I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I do because I don't. Yeah. Sometimes it's okay to not know. Yeah. It's okay to not know things. Yeah. You know? So, did we not know a lot of trivial questions? So, should we hop into that or what? I think we should get trivy. Get trivial. Huh? Get trivy. Get trivial. Huh? Fuck me. Get trivy. Get trivial. Ooh. La la. God, I love that song. All right, I'm going to spin first because I'm the one that bent down and grabbed the wheel. Oh, yeah, that was hard, huh? <laughs> Everybody ready? And here we go. <laughs> history, purple, history, purple. Here we are. Purple. All right, question number one of trivia. Mm-hmm. How old was Queen Elizabeth when she passed away? The 93. Old- oh, you're the, close. The recent one? 94. Mm-hmm. 92. 
Incorrect. She was 96. Fuck oh, ass. That's like recent history too, y'all. Damn. I mean, come on. There's so much news and current events. I right. can't keep up with death age. Here I go. Animals. Purple. All right. Question number two of trivia. What is a female fox called? A fawn. I don't know. Oh, you sounded confident. A fawn. You sounded confident. <laughs> I know. A female fox. A fiend. A feline. I know it's... This is kind of a hard one. <sighs> hmm. Cool. So, it's what, okay if you don't know it. What, what is does it? it start with? Oh. A V. A Vienna sausage. <laughs> <laughs> a what? It is a vixen. Mm. Oh, I knew that. Oh, shit. But I didn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you did, right? All right. Here we are. The stars. Red. The stars. I have no clue. This is a new little thing Beth put on there. Hmm. Here we are. Question number three of trivia. When, what is the term for when the moon passes between the earth and the sun? Is it like the solar eclipse? eclipse? Solar eclipse is correct. <sighs> hey, hey, baby. Okay. Okay, spinning. Good one. Don't you know animals? Purple. Purple. Twice. Purple. Question number four of trivia. How many legs does a lobster have? Gosh, let's just Twelve. Go four. I'm trying to think of a lobster. Oh, a solid eight. Eighteen. Eleven. Four. Twelve. <laughs> okay. Fourteen. I'm just going to throw this out there, you guys. I'm going to buy y'all buzzards, uh, little buzzers. So you're going to buy us buzzards? Cool. You're going to buy so us buzzards? So you can actually uh, buzz in like for Jeopardy? your answer. Like Jeopardy? <laughs> Beth says she's going to buy uh, us buzzards, every, the, bo- yeah. the, the birds. Every answer you guys have said so far is incorrect. The correct answer is ten. Okay. Ooh. Huh. It's a random number. Yeah, that's right. That is, it's not an even number. Mm-mm. Well, <laughs> what? I don't know about all that. You would think that they would have an even. Ten's not I an mean, even. <laughs> ten is even, but it's Never rare. Mind. But it is rare but for legs. It is. Usually it's eight, <laughs> but it is even. That's not what I meant to all say. All right. <laughs> they got five on each side. That is even. Yeah. Oh, wowzers. Everybody ready? Here we are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Math. Purple. <laughs> purple. Math. Oh, I want to get that question purple. one. The... <clears throat> okay. All right. What number doesn't have its own Roman numeral? Mm, come on now. Let's just say freaking 11. A million. Zero. Zero. The answer is zero. Oh, come on now, Beth over there. You she guys want to know what Beth did? She, held she up goes a big like this. Zero. Hold up a big zero. I wanted y'all to get one right. Wow. Y'all went with a million. I'd rather get them all wrong. <laughs> wow. All right, you ready, honeys? Your turn to spin. Okay. Go ahead. <sighs> Math, should we do that one again? Yeah. Do okay. you want to? Yeah. Let's you can do it. respin if you want. This is y'all's show. Aw. True, but we'll keep it because we'll people it. like math. Purple. Okay. Purple. Purple. What is a shape with eight sides called? Octagon. O- octagon, yeah. That is correct. That's true. Octopussy. Octopussy. Ready? Mm-hmm. Great film. Is that a. That's really a film. Oh, I see what you did there. Question mark. Yellow. I see what you did there. All right, here we go. This category is me just throwing something at them, so. Why don't you throw this pussy at me? Darts. Wow. <laughs> throw this pussy at me? Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am. Okay, go ahead. Right, you know what? I'm let's ready. Let's see, let's see. Where is the Van Gogh Museum located? Paris. Incorrect. France. <laughs> In- <laughs> Incorrect. New York City. Amsterdam. Oh. Close, close. I was close. That's a hard one, because I would have said... New York or Paris. Yeah. Gosh. All right, you ready? Let's keep going, right? Yeah, let's just go. Right, just go, right? Mm. Okay, sports. Y'all like sports? You red. got this one. Ooh. I don't know, though. You do. It could get me. I guarantee you Chelsea is going to know this one. In the movie Castaway, mm-hmm. what type of sports ball Volleyball. is Wilson? That is correct. <laughs> Castaway. That's more of a movie. But yeah, yeah. Well, 
Well, should we do? I was I was hearing something about that that Wilson ball, some Wilson. conspiracy. So what about it? Just do your own research. Okay, I'll, I'll Google Wilson ball. <laughs> yeah, Google Tic Tac. Don't right. Google nothing. Just Tic Tac right. it. Wilson right. ball. All right, conspiracy. Ready? Here we go. Do, do, do. I miss Alex Trebek. Movie quotes. Green movie quotes. <clears throat> Let's see. The best thing about visiting the president is the food. Now, since it was all free and I wasn't that hungry, but I was thirsty, I must have drank about 15 Dr. Peppers. Forrest Gump. Woo, that is correct. What, ma'am? Ma'am? Oh, my gosh, dude. <laughs> I just went into a different realm. I guessed. What? We're all freaking out that Paige got it right. And the claps, everything sounded fake. Because I was about to say it, and because I, I wasn't trying to rush because I knew she wasn't going to get it, and oh, then yeah. she said it. Yeah, and you're not so rushing. Proud. Whoa. Whoa, that was crazy. That you, was wild. You got it. Forrest Gump. I'm proud right now. <laughs> Dude, I'm... Forrest Gump, one of, probably one of the best movies of all time. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. I fall seen? asleep. I'm going to try to get through it, though. Have you ever gotten through it start to finish? Not quite. He was sitting on the bench for a long time. I remember that scene, the, the fucking in the car. Um, then I kind of zoned out. What the fuck? Forrest Gump? How did it end? You got to watch oh, it. You got to watch God. it. Okay. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. You got to watch Let's it. Let's watch it this weekend. Will you do that? Oh, yeah. Chelsea planned to come over. She says, hey, I'm going to come over on a Saturday and a Sunday, and I'm just going to chill at your house all weekend. I'm like, okay, take a bath. She just planned it. Maybe we could go get tacos Mm -hmm. and watch Forrest Gump. Okay, that would be fun. If you guys want to come over, you can. We can play games. They're going, um, um, what's going on? Yeah, we're going to go kayaking. We're going to go kayaking. so On Saturday. We'll be laying horizontal. I'll be horizontal. But if you're going to be gone all weekend, who's going to be watching Millie? Well, I'll take, well. If she can't go over to Paige's house. Well, you're only going to be gone Saturday, right? Yeah, but all day Saturday. Maybe, uh, well, maybe Libby can come over and, okay. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Oh, yeah, we got her. We'll figure it out. Right. Right, right. right. Um, um, let's, um, I want to go ahead and announce Rock Fucker of the Week. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Rock Fucker of the Week is Alina Williamson. Alina Williamson. We pick one person a week um, who somehow interacts with our social medias, comment, share, like, whatever. And we pick uh, you randomly and we will send you a free uh, viral podcast merch t-shirt exclusive for Rock Fucker of the Week. Thank you for being here and clicking and interacting. Hey. You know what I was thinking about before we get started into the calls? Something that we used to do all the time, but we haven't done it in a while. You know who I I miss? (sighs) What? (sighs) Oh, oh, somebody just poked me with a cock. (sighs) Me. I'm looking. (sighs) Who is that? I don't see anybody. Flip your head. I don't see you. Oh, it's me. But I feel a big cock going in and out. Who is that? Damien. Damien? Oh, yeah, your pussy is very, very tight. Oh, my God, thank and clean. you. It's very clean. Thank you so much. Uh, where's uh, your sister? Uh, she's uh, right over there. Oh, get her. Uh, Damien. Uh, lick your sister's pussy. Oh, my God. Mm. Damien, I would never do that. Uh, oh, I love my girls. Oh, uh, he's fucking me. Uh, Who is uh, that? Oh, uh, oh, uh, 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 I'm going to come. Uh, I'm going to come. Uh, oh, spewy, uh, spewy, spewy, spewy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the, the fact that we do that is wild. I know. That's, <laughs> That's really weird. And I was fact- thinking, you think we'll ever look back on this and, or, you know, if we ever have grandkids or Lola and Liv, when they grow up, they're going to think, I wonder what my aunt was doing in that ro- <laughs> in my room when I couldn't I just be in there. I can't believe people listen to it. <sighs> Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Yeah, because I can't believe... Listen, we stay on them charts, baby. Oh, yeah. We're taking over the world, and 
I haven't looked at the chart in probably three or four months, but I know we're on there. Chart up. We are number, I think we stay on number eight in improv. But we would like to be um, number one. Number, <laughs> let's just face it, number one on Apple, Spotify. Well, because we're trying to take over the world. I hope we don't have to suck a couple cacks to do so. Well, we I just would... need you guys to put in the work and put in the numbers, please. Yes. You know, we're, we're sitting here talking and we, we, you know, there's only two of us, four of us. We can't put in the numbers that you guys can. Mm-hmm. So, you know. more listeners. Yeah. So, uh, thank you for helping us take over the world. And, uh, Maggie, roll that beautiful bean footage. Hey, honeys. Gay boy here. Um, I was talking to my mom and she just recently moved back to the South. Her and my dad, they moved to like Alabama, right on like the border of Florida and Alabama. And she was telling me that (laughs) because she's not used to like being in the humidity anymore, that her pussy lips get puffy when it's humid. So she was telling me the other day that it was like, it was raining and then it was like 85 degrees after and then the humidity got pretty high. And then she's like, well, it was whatever outside for a while, came back inside, went pee and my pussy lips were super puffy she went to the doctor and she's like oh yeah it's just the humidity i guess your lips just swell up when it's humid like i guess there's nothing else going on but my question is have you guys ever had that like where your lips get puffy because of humidity or like allergies anyways love you honey oh yeah Yeah, he's so concerned about his mom's lips (laughs) i'm obsessed with the fact that okay let me just say this that would be me if i was a mom yeah. And I had a sign. I'd be like, bro, this, this. <laughs> I'm puffing up. <laughs> bro, you should see my pussy lips. They are swollen. Yeah. This humidity got me. Fuck puff daddy. I'm puff mommy. Look at these lips, boy. <laughs> that would be me if I was a mom. Humidity got me. <laughs> humidity got me. Goes to the doctor. Those things must have been like a puffer fish. To go to the doctor? You're swelling. I wonder why just the lips swelled up, though. Well, because that's all that's kind of down there. Well, Hmm. what else would swell? I mean, your hands could swell. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe it was the friction of her walking. Yeah. And the humidity, because your hands are exposed, your pussy is, damn, I can see it. It's a warm area. It's already warm down there. Mm -hmm. And I moved to, to Tennessee with the humidity in August. I might have swelled up. Well, listen, here's the deal. I probably would not be able to tell if my pussy lips were swollen because these things stay swollen 24-7. They're just big. Yeah, you stay swole. I stay swole. The fupa, the lips, it's just a big pussy. Sometimes, though, because when I walk into the room, sometimes you'll just be laying there spread eagle, puss out, and you'll say the humidity was kind of giving you a rash. Mm, That can happen. It gets it stays moist and wet down there, yeah. So I can see that. I just I've never heard of that. Um, I just love the fact that they have such a good father, not father son, mother son Bond. relationship that they can just she can just be like, hey, my pussy lips are swollen, and he calls in and says, <laughs> does that happen to you with allergies? No, the only thing I could think of is if you know if a bee stung my fupa, it'd mm-hmm. probably swell up. But yeah. Definitely. My friend takes Benadryl and her under eye puffs up. Oh, when she takes Benadryl? Yeah, so hmm. she doesn't take it anymore. But I don't know if I've heard of anybody's pussy lips swelling. I've never heard of that. No. I'll let you know, though. Hey, I'll, now I'll be really paying attention. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I'll be I'll be asking around. Do you guys know? No, I've never heard of it. I know. That's awesome. It's never happened to me, so yeah. I, and I don't know of anyone that it's happened to. Well, what a great first call. Thank you yeah. for calling in. Give her our thoughts and stuff. Yes, for sure. We're thinking about your mom in the heat this summer. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Hey, Paige, I love rabbits. Did you know that? And listen, I'm not talking about the animal rabbits, okay? You know what I'm talking about. The one that you stick in you and it goes over your clit too? Love them. And you know what goes along great with rabbits? Lingerie, butt plugs, anal beads. And you're probably thinking, where can I get this stuff? AdamandEve.com. 
That's right. AdamandEve.com is going to have everything you could ever possibly think to have or want to have for the bedroom. And I'm not talking about just for you and your partner. I'm talking about if you want a little bit of alone time with just you and a rabbit, AdamandEve.com is going to have a wide selection of everything you're going to want or need. Listen, they've been in business for decades. And they're offering our listeners 50% off almost any one item, plus free shipping. So head on over and satisfy your needs. Chelsea, I can't order a rabbit. I live with my grandpa and he's going to know what I ordered. Guess what? He's not going to know what you ordered because they ship discreetly. Your grandpa don't know what's in that box, okay? It could be a corn cob for all he knows, okay? It could be a box of bobby pins for all he knows. He's not going to know what's in there. Just enter code VIRAL at checkout. That's VIRAL, V-I-R-A-L, at adamandeve.com. This is exclusive offer specific to this podcast, so be sure to use this code VIRAL to get your discount. 100% free shipping and get it fast with rush shipping. Code VIRAL. Oh, yeah. Hey, honeys. Puker here. So I was just listening to the most recent podcast, and today's May the 4th, and y'all were talking about some fetishes, so I'm calling in with some more fetish stuff. So uh, basically my boyfriend, he loves to be puked on. And so essentially what that means is that I will be giving him some head, He will force me to deep throat him so hard that it causes me to throw up everywhere, all over him, in the crack of his ass, on his stomach, all over his dick and balls. So basically, he'll have me suck a bunch of water beforehand so that when I throw up, it's like a big gush of cold water and... um, According to him, that kind of makes his brain short circuit, and he nuts really hard. We uh, have taken a couple videos of it. It's sure you could look it up on a porn website if you were very interested, but it's a very fun thing for us to do. I mean, I mean, it makes me feel close to him, and obviously he loves it since it's his thing. But, yeah, I'm curious, honeys. What are your thoughts? Would you ever do it? Give me your opinion, please. All right. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Short circuit. I got, I have a few thoughts. My first thought is coming from his perspective. Cause at first I'm thinking, Oh, that's an odd one. But then when she said he likes the water gush, isn't that almost just like squirting, but through the mouth? (sighs) Dude, just go to (laughs) fucking raging waters. Go down a water slide. That's a lot. Yeah. Um, um, I, if I were her, I don't like the sensation of puking. So that wouldn't be joyful for me. And I don't like water just in my ass crack. Chill in there. He he loves it. He loves, <laughs> he loves that puke in the ass. I have heard of this though. I feel like this is really common. Oh, it, it is. I've had a couple guys ask me to R- do it. To puke, puke on their cock. Mm-hmm. Did you puke. do it? I couldn't. You tried, you were trying to deep throat it and do it? Well, no, I, just, I, I didn't try. You I was said just, no. I was just like, no. So, because P- puking hurts me. Yeah. My oh, whole yeah. body will be in pain for a week. Your throat needs I, to be And like I'm heal. sorry, I'm not doing that to please yeah. anybody. <laughs> yeah, that's just a lot. And it's just not good, I don't think, to, I mean, maybe once in a while, but to constantly be puking, that's not good for your health. And <laughs> it, just, I think, kind of makes the guy feel good about their dick because they're mm-hmm. like, my dick did that. My that my dick made that water sensation in my asshole. I feel like the only way I would do it is if I had the flu. <laughs> oh, and, gosh. And I knew that, you know, Greg or whoever, the partner, was into that. And I had the flu. And I felt some barf coming up. And oh. I'd be like, Baby! Get in here. I'm about to puke. (laughs) Lay down. 
next if to you the know bed. it's coming anyway right why not that's what you i'm know? saying but when you're nauseous i hate that feeling it's, he might not be feeling the puke all the time so he's just kind of got to be on, he's got to be on call when you have the flu if he really wants that puke so how did they ask you maggie do they straight up ask you or do they tell you hey i think it, i mean what tell us pretty much just straight up ask me will you puke on my cock yeah Huh. Brett well, I was married to, to one it. of them. I, oh I had a, I had a feeling. You that know was that him. fucker. <laughs> I was gonna ask. And then the other one was just kind of like, I said no, and he let it go. That's nice of him. Yeah, that was that was nice of him. What a gentleman. Well, what a great guy. <laughs> you know, I'm sure he's listen. used to hearing. Did the one no. you were married to ask repeatedly? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He was really into it. <sighs> Chill. He was into some. Oh God. Freaky stuff. Brett I feel wants like to there's nothing. Fuck me while I puke, but not. He doesn't want to be puked on, but he wants to be inserted in me while I'm puking. That's kind of funky. <laughs> you did tell me that once. Yeah, I well, think we talked s- about it. On yeah, here. I know. I remember yeah. you saying that. That's yes. kind of like that. Maybe it's the tightening. Uh, oh, and mm-hmm. he could feel the jellyfish Man, when you're puking. Greg mm-hmm. is the most boring vanilla. Like he would never do. E- he would never do anything. I asked him to put on a, you know those vibrators that go on the wiener? You said the cock ring. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. remember you saying oh, that. Oh, he yeah. freaked the fuck out. Um, This was years ago. I, I asked if he wanted to have a threesome. Oh, what do you mean? I don't want to have no threesome. What? I wonder why. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Scared. <laughs> what? Any other man in the fucking world oh, he, would have jumped on that. Not Greg. Uh, jumped on it. Not Greg. <sighs> Libby was telling us she went to a uh, swingers motel in How Denver. Was it? Stop. The stuff she was telling me, it sounded fucking awesome. And I want to go. And if Greg does not go with me, which I bet he it will not, I'm going by myself. I'm going to ask him. Let's what if we go. all go together? Yeah. Dude, I'm dead He's serious. Just go to different rooms. Well, like you could go to different rooms, but like the ho- the pool area, what was really popping. Uh, Lydia was saying people were just like sucking dick, just fucking. Underwater? No, just on, they had lounges out mm-hmm. and that people would, just, there'd be guys watching, just jerking off. Did she fuck Cucks. while she's I, there? I'm going to let her tell a story because she's going to tell it on her podcast. So. Okay. Mm, uh, she's got a podcast called The Storage Podcast. Check that out. Um uh pool cucks dude oh my the cuck would kind of get me yeah she said that like you know like people would just walk over like guys would walk over and just be like oh you know like almost ask and they'd be like okay you're can i enter your hole just and i go that would kind of be i mean it does sound a little i've said this on this pod before Mm -hmm. we've said about going to go but that sounds awesome, and so that sounds like something I want to experience at least once in my life. Yeah, and I think Greg would be—I think he'd be cool with it. I'm going to talk to him. I know he wouldn't go though. Maggie you said we could would... quaalude him. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> you don't think he would go and just watch? If Greg was there, just jerking <laughs> off, watching. He could be the dude jerking off, just watching. Could you imagine looking <laughs> over and seeing Greg? You're getting pounded, and you let look me, over in Greg's let me just oh, yeah. Let me just say something. If he went, he's the type of person he would never want me to talk about him going. And you would. It would slip. Yeah. Maybe. You would have to Maybe. talk about your experience. Maybe. Well, I would talk about me, but I I don't know. He he would be really weird about, like, <gasps> don't tell the podcast I was at the swingers. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. He would, too. Yeah, I know. Say it just like that. I know. <laughs> I know. He so. he doesn't have a job anymore though, so Yeah. He has nothing to worry about. I think it's time. It's time. I'm thirty five. Mm-hmm. About to be thirty six. I think it's time. Time's up, swingers club. So I'm gonna talk to him about it. And I already know what he's gonna say. Oh, come on, baby, I don't want to, I don't want to go do that. If you wanna go do that, that's up to you. Just be safe, be careful. I don't I don't wanna know nothing. That's what he's going to say. Uh-huh. What if he got pregnant at the swingers club? Maggie! Oh, <laughs> hold on to that birth control for another couple months. That's what I was going to say. Months. Hold on to that for yeah, a minute. for a couple <laughs> minutes. Buy some random ass. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Keep that little rice I told in Libby, there. I don't even got to do that. I told Libby, I go, I'd love to just make out. Or just go watch. Get dry hump. Get my titties sucked but on, I make like out. But I if everybody is like fucking and, and you're in that environment, can you just go make out? She I don't said know. It, she said it wasn't, um, it, it wasn't like a big orgy. People weren't, it, it was more oral, a lot mm-hmm. of oral going on mm-hmm. and a lot of people watching and, um. Uh, it was a lot of that. She said there were people having sex, but it wasn't a lot of like sex. And I think, man, if I just get someone to make out and rub my clit, done. <laughs> you think people walk around and just kind of look for, yeah. you know, it's just kind of a street market of just look for somebody by themselves. Almost like yeah. you go to a, a, an area with food trucks and you can just pick yeah. what you want, just like that. At yeah. the mall. Right. Hmm. I think you know, it'd be fun. Just stop, or, you know, how you just stop and watch. Like, I wonder if there's ever a big gathering out, you know, people are really putting on a show. I know, and I would feel bad for watching. I would be like, you know, because what if they got mad? No, that's what, that's what, that, that's what they do. That's what they're there for. That's what, that's it. I would just love to walk past something and hear some clapping <laughs> and mm-hmm. them going at it. That'd be funny. She said they walked out to the pool and they were... Two girls on the hot tub ledge and two guys in the hot tubs and they were just eating both their pussies and they like walked in, like kinda looked over and like <laughs> just munching. Like, oh holy shit. I <sighs> I'd love to go. You know what? I may hate it. I may feel weird. I may not enjoy it. Whatever. And that's fine too. But I feel like, man, if I get old and I've never been to some sort of sex club, swingers thing, I think I'll regret it. I got to at least get up in there and see yeah, what that's about. go experience it. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, let us know. Oh, I, I I talk about this a lot. We do, but we just don't pull through yet. And We're f- too busy right now. We are busy, but yeah. I feel like this is something we need to make time for. Mm-hmm. We'll put some time aside and get there. Swing so, on in. Yeah. I think we're going to swing on in and see. So. <laughs> okay. Get your what, titties what, sucked in. What was I the just, question? I don't even know what we were talking about, so. Puking on oh, a dick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Puking on dick, so. All right. Hmm. Very interesting. Inter- but I think it's, uh, we'll, move, we'll move on, but I want to say one more thing about puking on the dick. Um, I think it's cool that she's down for it. Mm-hmm. If that's something he loves and she can handle the feeling of pu- great. Yeah, and if he is also um, meeting her needs. Yeah, she, you know, like maybe give her a break if she doesn't always want to be puking up water and stuff, and uh, maybe she likes to have some. Agree. So make sure you fulfill her kinks too. Agree. Love it, and we Thank love you. you. Thank you for calling in, honeys. Hey, honeys, uh, <clears throat> heartbroken here. Uh, I've been friends with this girl for a while now, and uh. I'm sorry. I just got a really shitty relationship about a year ago. And I just been single for a year and I finally decided to get back in the game and I finally found someone that I really liked. <laughs> it just, it just didn't feel the same way with me and, uh, it just sucks. But, you know, I, I really felt like, I really felt like I meant something to someone and, uh, now I'm just being a bitch. Just, I'm at work right now, actually. I'm hiding in the bathroom. Oh. You know, I talk to people about it, and it helps, but at the same time, and I don't know. I just had to get that off my chest. I love you all. I love you, Chelsea. I love you, Paige. I love you, Brent. I love you, Maggie. I'm going to try and do better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's still going in a oh, yeah in there. Oh my god, that got me. He he was really heartbroken. You could tell. Heartbreaks are fucking hard. Man. Let it out, man. If you got a call of our podcast and cry while you're at work, fucking do it. In the bathroom. And listen, we get a lot of calls. We get thousands of calls a week. There's no way we can we can even begin to listen or play all of them. But damn, if you got no one else to talk to or you want to get something off your chest or whatever, just fucking call in and cry, dude. Yeah, vent. That's, That's what fine. helps Because, oh. He said, I thought yeah. I meant something to somebody. I'm going to fucking cry. 
Man. Oh. You do mean something to us. Yes. And you do mean something to a lot of people, I'm sure. Yes, I know of it's course. you're wanting to find that special someone. I get that. <sighs> Honeys, you will. You will, and then you'll look back on this and go, damn, I can't believe I was that heartbroken over somebody who didn't feel the same about me. Right. You'll find someone, and you seem like a sweet soul. Oh, my gosh. We love you, honeys. We love you. I hope the days get easier for you. I hope you find a nice person to settle down with. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hold on, I can't. Maggie's having technical difficulties. Y'all just talk for a little bit. Hello, so how are you? Okay, I found it. All right. All right, here we go. Hi, honeys. Love you here. Uh, got a would you rather. Uh, would you rather have no arms or no legs? And also, would you rather eat your grandma's pussy or would you rather suck your grandpa's cock? <laughs> Love ya. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. These are hard ones. Let's start with no arms, no legs. Okay. Now, I'm sure lots of people listening are missing a limb or two or all. Mm-hmm. Um, so, shout out to you guys. Shout out to you for, you know, if you were in the... In there fighting for our country. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your service. If you were born. Without some limbs. Shout out to you. Just just shout out to everyone out there limbless. And we're being serious. Yeah. Limbless. Nubless. Whatever. Fingerless. Yeah. Because, you know, it's just you have to live a much. Well, the world's not built for you. It's not built for, you know, so it's even extra hard. Yeah. So. So, and you're doing the damn thing. Yeah. And, so. dude, they are so strong, and I never hear them complaining. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah. Would I rather have no arms or no legs? Well, oh, God, I feel like if you have no arms, you got to rely on someone else to give you a nut. Well, I yeah. guess you could hump your pillows. You could hump, mm-hmm. walk around no, and hump edges. That's true. I forgot. Never mind. I forgot about that. Yes, you can hump edges, which I have done. Scratch what I just said. You're right. God. Oh, I'm so 50-50. I keep going back and forth. Um, I follow a girl on TikTok. She just has two fingers, mm-hmm. and she just does everything, and she hates when she gets comments like, tell your husband to help you. She's like, I've... That's, like, what she knows, you know? Like, yeah. she doesn't know any different. She can still do everything. She's like, I don't fucking right. need my husband, you know? Right. Uh, yeah. Legs or arms? <sighs> do, 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 do. I'd rather have I hate legs. Walking. Okay. You would? I hate walking and I hate standing. Yeah. You'd rather have legs. You'd rather have... I'm just thinking about scrolling. God, this is a tough one. I'm going to go. Well, you know what? I take that back. It's hard. Because they they have the fake legs. You could still stand up and walk. And they have the fake arms. Yeah, they have fake arms too. Right. Be easier to to control the Um, fake legs. Uh, You think it would be easier to control the fake legs? People are running marathons with those fake legs. Yeah. I think they're more uncomfortable, though. I have heard that. Yeah. They're hard, they're hard you know, because you're, you're all your weight's on them. Oh, God. I, I can't choose, dude. <laughs> I honestly can't choose. I am so 50-50. Beth, what about you? Oh. I'm keeping my arms. You are? Yeah. I, to scroll? To rub one out. And to scroll. Yeah. I, I'm going to agree with you. Yeah. I think I'm keeping my arms. Yeah, I'm going to, you know what, keep my arms. Plus, I re- have a really cool sleeve, and uh, yeah. I paid a lot of money for that. That's so. oh, keep that's the smart. Sleeve. That's smart. That's really smart. Okay, second question. Would we rather lick our grandma's pussy or suck our grandpa's dick? I'm just going to go ahead and lick my grandma's pussy. Is there a time limit? She didn't either, say. I mean, either way. 
It almost doesn't matter. <laughs> At yeah. that point, just fucking go for it. I'm going to suck come. the dick. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking if I lick my grandma's pussy, it's not as sexual. I feel like if I'm sucking my grandpa's Your grandpa's going to be like, oh. <laughs> my grandpa's going to be like, any nuts in Oh, your fuck. Mouth. God. Do you swallow? <laughs> Damn. Oh, God. Not to completion, but I would, you know, put my lip around it for a little bit. Oh, a minute gosh. or two. I didn't I think of the grandma's pussy being all cheesy. Stop. And the hair. I've seen an old ass pussy, and I ain't going nowhere near one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna that got me. I'm gonna take the fact that it's my grandma and grandpa out of it, and just think of them as people I don't know with a pussy and a dick. Well, they're not people you don't know. <sighs> oh they're your God. grandma. And your grandpa. Don't remind me. <laughs> I think I would choose grandpa's dick too. I, you'd have to. Not nanny. <laughs> nanny. Not nana. <laughs> <laughs> nana. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. No. You said your one grandma had a very nice puss. I saw my grandma's vagina spread open. Um, We were in the hospital. It was just right before she died, a few weeks before she died. I was in the hospital with her, and it was just me and her. And um, she had to get up out of bed for some reason. And she had the hospital gown on. and, And she hopped up out of bed, and boom, her... Gown was up, no underwear, nothing. Legs were spread. It was right in front of me. You gotta look. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the f- when the first split second I saw it, I almost was like, Ugh. and then I was like, oh, what? I go, nanny, you have a pretty vagina. It was beautiful. It was perfect. Oh my. She was seventy five. You would think that like a seventy five year old's vagina would be just like I don't know old mesh, and, you know, and it was wonderful i go oh my god and she was like oh, well i know she knows she know i was like kind of shocked me so yeah that's that's I'll, rare that's rare oh, that's that's rare that's rare for any age because mm-hmm. i guarantee you if, if the tables were reversed she wouldn't have said shit to me <laughs> <laughs> no she would she would have gagged or something if she smelled maybe but if she just looked <laughs> stop that's why they wear those masks oh my gosh Oh, being a doctor, dude, I wonder how many fish they smell. Well, I smell pussy fish daily, and I'm not even a doctor. Well, that's you. Yeah. (laughs) But if you were smelling all different types. Yeah, that'd be hard. Trout. That'd be hard. I've been calling mine swordfish. God. Just because I feel like that's really stinky. It's got to be up there. A swordfish smell? Oh, man, dude. You I've get, never smelled one, but it's got to be bad. Mm. Love that we're talking about this. I've never seen a swordfish live, just in Donkey Kong. Well, it's got like a sword nose, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Just a longer nose. Yeah. That could kill people. Mm-hmm. Be careful. Poking in that pussy. Poking in that pussy. Getting Maggie's <laughs> smells out. Oh, God. Hey, honey's pH balance is off here. Always. Why do, Why when you stick the capsules up and you correct it, as soon as you stop using the capsules, mm-hmm. it goes back to fucking fish. It, it's just a warm hole. It's just a warm hole that stays moist. It never gets a chance to dry. It's just always going to smell. They need to make little vents. <laughs> On your... Pussy lips, little vents to air it out. Maybe even in jeans, put some holes down there to breathe. It's bad, man. So, anyway, thank you for calling in, honeys. Love the would you rathers. Pussless chaps. Pussless chaps. They do have those. Stop. Let's the get assless, them. but it's all. Love it. Do you guys like looking cool at parties? But don't like drinking like us? Well, get everybody fooled and drink liquid death. That looks like a beer, but it's water. Ha! Gotty. Dude, I'll never forget when I first saw liquid death. I I literally thought it was a tall boy. And then somebody said it was water, and I was like, what the heck? 
I literally was like water from a can. This is the weirdest, weirdest thing I've ever heard of. Um, man, I popped the top and I have been liquid death in myself for a while now, probably years. And they're not just a water brand. They also have iced tea and flavored sparkling water. Why are they called liquid death? Well, let me tell you, okay? Because their tall boys will brutally murder your thirst, all right? Are you thirsty? Guess what? They going to quench that shit, okay? And, guys, recyclable cans, okay? They're bringing death to plastic bottles. Plastic bottles aren't even recyclable, okay? They just go to landfills. I've tried the teas and the flavored sparkling stuff, but honestly, I just like the basic, the basic water one. It's so refreshing and crisp. Some people are really weird about like not drinking certain like water brands because it has a weird taste. This stuff is crispy. And you can even drink them while you're pregnant. You can pretty much drink them anywhere. So you can literally pop a top while driving down the road, okay? And once you fall in love with Liquid Death like we did, dude, they got merch. You can rock their merch. Like, they're supporting this podcast, so you know they're cool dudes. You can find Liquid Death's healthy beverages on Amazon or at a retailer near you. And the viral podcast listeners get 20% off their first Liquid Death apparel purchase available exclusively at liquiddeath.com slash viral. Exclusions may apply. That's liquiddeath.com slash viral. All right. Hey, honey. It's just thinking high thoughts here. High thoughts. Um, so I was wondering, when you buy new clothes, Do you wash them before you wear them? I will admit, I get way too excited, and I just fucking rip the tags off and put it on, and I don't care. Um, I know it's gross. Other bodies have been in it, but, you know, who gives a fuck? It's cute, and I don't have the extra hour to wait because I want to wear it now. Um, So, yeah, honey, if you guys wash your clothes right after you buy them, or you just say fuck it and put it on. Love you, honeys. Oh, yeah. Love you, honeys. Great. Beautiful question. This is a good question. I don't feel like that's gross. I I feel like sometimes I may throw something in the washer, but most of the time I probably don't. Uh I if I don't need to wear it right away, You'll then put it in the washer. Then I'll wash it because sometimes there's a smell huh. or you know, like a packaging smell or and people are just touching it, looking at it. Who knows what type of they could have itched their pussy and then touched your shirt Mm -hmm. and i don't want puss juice on my neck what about like if you buy towels or oh i wash them really i i don't i don't think i do well you wonder why your fucking ph balance is off (laughs) no wonder i have swordfish pussy Mm -hmm. wash them towels i feel like sometimes i do and sometimes i don't and i don't know what the deciding factor is maybe it's just how i feel or if you need to wear it right then yeah yeah but I'm not weird about that. I don't think it's gross. I don't think like, oh, I can't use this because I haven't washed it. No. What about sheets? I ordered new sheets the other day. They came in. I put them straight on the bed. Whoa. That, because I, I like it when me. they're new and crispy. Mm-hmm. So you just put them right on your bed? I've always done that. Mm-hmm. But the sheets are packaged up. You know, people aren't trying them on and mm-hmm. all this other stuff. Yeah, I'm just thinking of the... I don't know, the packaging and the mm. that plastic, the chemical smell, I don't know. But then you're going to wash it with chemicals. I'll be all itchy. The water has chemicals in no, it. No, I made some uh, good soap. Really? Mm-hmm. With just baking soda, like a whole... Has it been organic, working? Yeah, smells good. Nice. And put like lavender essential oils in it. Mm. Nice, I need to try that out. Or yeah, what? try it out this weekend. All right. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So, where were we? Uh, We're ready for that next call, baby. Hey, honeys. Hoya! This is Angeline here, and I'm just calling because I need some real fucking advice here. Um, So, my boyfriend the other day said that he wants to do anal. Any. (laughs) And I'm scared of shitting on his dick, man. Mm. Like, and I shit pretty good. Like, I shit like three times a day. 
And I don't know how to clean that thing out. Like, I know I'm supposed to do shit or whatever, but, like, <clears throat> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Because sometimes we're we're in doggy style and he tries to slip a finger. And I'm like, whoop. I, I don't know. How do I, like, do I numb it? I'm, my Also, my asshole's, like, brown. And I'm nervous. Like, he doesn't care, but I'm, like, scared. Anyways. Love to hear from you. Also, I just woke up, and I'm listening to the podcast right now. Love you, honeys. Hoya. Love you. Thank Love you. you, honeys. Hey, honeys. Amy here. Hey, honeys. Brown butthole there. First off, it's fine that you have a brown butthole. Oh, yeah. That's very normal. Hell, oh, mine's yeah. fucking brown. A hole's a hole. It's a hole. He ain't going to want to care. We only feel insecure about that because... In porns, they don't have brown buttholes. So they, we think that's what we're supposed to look like. That's what they, we think guys like. He ain't going to fucking care. So get that off the table. Yeah. Don't even worry about that. First off. Second off, I didn't even know people cleaned out until here recently, within the last couple of years. Same. Straight and gay people. I, I didn't know that was a thing. They, they douche the shit out. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's why I ended up with a fucking dingleberry of my own shit in the back of my head. <laughs> if I would have known douching, I would have done it. I have anal about once every She's couple mad. years. And I've, I just, if I know I'm going to do it or something, I just try not to eat Taco Bell. You know, I try to stay cautious, stay cautious of that. And I always just take a, take a huge shit before. <laughs> that's smart take a huge shit wash my butthole i've never had spontaneous anal smart smart i haven't I i've can't heard think... people of doing spontaneous anal and they actually gave me a tip what he said that when him and his boyfriend were gonna fuck um the last thing that they could find was a water bottle a plastic one, they poked a hole in the top, Ooh. and then they just squirted up that up the ass to okay. clean out the ass. So if you have some, like, uh, extra Aquafina bottles or... Smart water. Dasani, anything, yeah. yeah, poke a hole in the top. Don't maybe shove the whole cap up your ass, but... That's smart. Half, and squeeze. That is smart. Look it up first, though, because... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't just be sticking water balls up your ass for the hell of it. Well, or you could. Whatever. We're not here to tell nobody what to do. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I would just take a big shit before. Get your asshole real clean. Wash that shit. Um, my tip would to be go slow. He better not cram that cock in. Because, mm -mm. ooh, I'd turn around and fucking punch somebody. And lube it up. I always put lube on the dick and I'll take lube on my fingers. Like I'll cup it up and stick it up in my butthole. <laughs> Extra. Extra. Lube. And when I say going slow, I'm talking like to get the whole shaft in needs to take like 20 minutes. Go <laughs> when she's. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah. Greg will put a little bit of the tip in just like a mm -hmm. quarter inch. Inch your way in. For and, sure. I'll, and I'll go, oh, that's enough. And he'll, <laughs> he'll put it in and he'll. Do a couple little humps, small, soft humps. Make sure he's aware, too, before he just starts because you need to say, hey, take me serious. When I say yeah. stop, stop, motherfucker. Yes. Because <laughs> it hurts your asshole. It hurts. And <laughs> then, and then it, you know, I'll be like, okay, I'm ready for a little more. And he'll put another little quarter inch in and he'll do a little bit of humping. And just slowly opens it. Now, people will stick um, butt plugs and yeah. stuff to open up their holes. I've never done that. If you really want to get, like, rammed, basically, yeah, yeah. like it's going to be almost looking like pussy fucking, then stretch that ass. Stretch because that there's ass. no way it's going in and out, huh, Maggie? Right. Without my, being stretched. Well, my thing is, it hurts going in, but once it's in and you're stretched out a little bit, it's not that bad. I've never gone all the way in and out. Once you're in, you can kind of do a little hump. No rough hump in there. I see what you mean. Yeah. You don't want a full thrust in and out. You want just a little, yeah. Yeah, a little nudge. Yeah. Ooh. But once it's in and you're loosened up and relaxed, now I couldn't get off that way. I couldn't, but it's not that bad. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt, you know, mm -hmm. 
Now, if you're someone with a ten, if you ten inch cock, get numb, numb yourself. They say poppers help, but do your research once again. I just a guy came up to me in Bretton Vegas and said, "Do you guys want to do some poppers?" What's poppers? We've talked about them on here before. I feel uh, like we have. The things that, like, numb your body, numb yes. your asshole. Yep, yep. Okay, yep, you're right. Do you but, stick it in your ass, or is it a pill? Mm, I think it's a pill, but don't quote me on poppers. <laughs> poppers. Poppers in a sexual way? Yeah, let's just give them the details now so they don't have to look it up. Poppers. Do, do. Poppers. Maybe stick some ice down there. It says... What? How do you numb your asshole? Lube, hmm. huh? Numbing lube? Yeah. Let's see here. What's a good... I've uh, only done it like once. The numbing lube? Yeah. I just remember my mom coming home from Mary Kay. <gasps> or not Mary Kay. Some sex party, though. What uh-huh. were those called? Oh, yeah. Uh, um. What? Yes, I know what you're talking about. What are those parties <sighs> called? It was something. Was it secret something or... Yeah. Uh, Sensual. I know what you're talking mm-hmm. about. She came home with like apple numbing lube. I think poppers are a liquid. It says Ooh. poppers is also known as uh, some words I can't pronounce. Um, they're often, but we're only called nitrates. Hmm. It's a different chemical. It's made from chemicals. Poppers can make you feel horny, lower your inhibitions, and make orgasms feel stronger because they relax the muscle in the asshole. Poppers can make it easier to be fucked or fisted. They can also, they can cause a man to lose his heart on too. Fisted? Fisted. Research shows that poppers might play an important role in HIV being passed on. Really? Huh. Hmm. Wonder why. Poppers can, um, there's a bigger risk of ass bleeding. It literally <laughs> says ass bleeding. <laughs> Not any bleeding. <laughs> oh my God. It might make your immune system weaker. Okay, so if you're like taking it every day, <clears throat> it's a yeah. It looks like it's a chemical. Taking poppers, fumes are breathed in <gasps> from the ass or the mouth. Mouth. Okay. Oh, that's weird. No, I'm not doing that. Mm-mm, I'm not about it. No, that seems like a dangerous drug. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. It sounds like whippets. Yeah. Maybe there's another type. I don't know. That's just what I googled. That's the first thing that popped up. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. If you tried poppets, let us know. Yeah, and just use a butt stretcher. <laughs> and some jelly. Be safe Ooh, out there. Fuck, dude. Little, little KY jelly, you're good to go. There's nothing worse when you tear your asshole. Here's the thing, honeys. Don't be scared. Don't worry about the brown butthole. Take it slow. Take it easy. And that's that. Relax. Yep. Take it slow. And so. if you're not feeling it, just stop. You have other holes. Yep. You've got a lot of other holes. Mm -hmm. So think about that. Yeah, he's not, he's fine. Yeah, he'll be okay. Trust me on that. Love you. Thank you for calling in. Hey, honey. Called a little bit ago here, but felt like I needed to explain better. Hey, honey. And Brett Fucker here. Long story short, about seven years ago, I knew somebody who knew this guy whose mom and dad were first cousins. Mm. It was a secret I wasn't supposed to know. Years later, I hung out with him and ended up fucking him, knowing he's a product of the inbred. Best dick I ever had. Very girthy. 10 out of 10 would do it again. Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Sounded like she was reading a story or something. Maybe she's she probably still tripped up on that 10 inch dick that fucked its first cousin. I don't know about all that first cousin fucking. Yeah, that's that's what I'm going to stay away from. From talking about or from fucking? I think both. Do you have any take on it? Mm-mm. You, you made out with your second cousin <laughs> at Sonic, right, Maggie? We've talked about that on the yeah. Um He was, was like... Second? A, no, he, he was down the line. He was like a third. No. He you was think like so? Part, it was farther down. And we didn't know that me and Maggie used to work at Sonic. We worked with this guy. He asked Maggie out on a date. He comes to pick Maggie up from the house, I think. Am I thinking this right, Yeah. Really? He comes to pick Maggie up, and my grandma meets him. She's like, you guys are cousins. 
I mean. And we're all like, huh? I mean, it was far down the, the line. Was it by blood or by me? I don't know what it was. I don't even know. Maggie was like, what, 16? No. Really? 14 or 15. You were working yeah. at Sonic. You had to have been 16. Was I? I think, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right. So. But I started there at whenever I was 15. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so they still went on the date. <laughs> Still, we didn't fuck well, it was, Yeah, it, and it's your third. I mean, first and second is that's not. Good. Well, and here's not the thing: good. if you guys didn't fuck, that's not really a date. That's just catching up with family. Yeah, just planning the ride right. <laughs> <laughs> with a little tongue. Oh. See, see at the family reunion. Yeah. Oh my god! Did you ever touch his cack? Nah. Mm. It was a very PG makeout. I don't even think it was a date. I think we went to like a graduation or some shit for your cousin. He picked you up for something. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So there's that. That's what happened. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. It's fine. So, it's okay. Yeah. That's fine. It ended up being okay. So, didn't have kids or anything. No children came out of it. Oh, no. No. So, so all right, good. next call. Paige's dad, Alan Jen here. As you know, community guidelines suck, and my daughter's posts keep getting taken down. So, would you all do my daughter a favor and follow her on genitals where you and her posts can stay up? Wait a minute, she's my daughter. Okay, unlimited pubes, all these giveaways, flagellants, POV, ASMR. BTS, Feet, hmm, and Extended Podcast Entertainment. Join my daughter, Paige, in fun activities like I Spy My Little Brown Eye, where you search for images of her hole. Hmm. Plus, much more. Go to Paige Jen on Instagram. That's Paige Jen. P-A-I-G-E-G-I-N-N. Click the link in her bio. To subscribe to her only genitals. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. This is the last one. <gasps> is it really? Yes, it is. Right. 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 Here we go. Okay. Hey, honeys. New song here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we gotta put that on a sound bite. Yes. I love it. I wanted oh, more. Yeah. Play that it again. Was soothing. I want to listen to it again. Mm-hmm. It was very relaxing. Hey, honeys, new song here. Oh yeah. I want a three-minute version of that. Oh, just repeating. That was awesome. On loop. That is a soothing whole yeah. Y'all have really been calling in singing to us here lately, and I'm loving it. So thank you for that. How can we get that? We need it. Brett. Brett, make make us a sound bite. We'll we'll have that sound bite in two years. Right. Right. We'll have it in two years. I'll try to learn how. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I I had a wonderful time. Oh, the best time ever talking to you guys. And uh, you guys, please remember, we we are doing um, exclusive mini viral podcast episodes on our, for our subscribers on OF and Patreon. And that is posted every Friday called Slits Only. Yep, so dive into that. Dive into our ass cheeks. Dive into our viral podcast Instagram and yes. click away if you want to be rock fucker of the week. Yes. And look out for monthly merch drops. Mm -hmm. And give us a call if you have any questions or need advice. or. And just remember, we are not therapists. We just want to put that out there. No, we're just talking. Yeah, some things might not even be true. So uh, give us a call at 442-777-3331. 
And always remember that you are doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck, fuck what everybody, everybody else thinks. Get ready. 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 We're going viral. Get ready. 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 We're going viral.